Hello scholars today i am going to start chapter number 10 practical geometry in this chapter we will learn how to draw parallel lines and some types of triangles so first see exercise 10.1 question number 1 draw a line say ab take a point c outside it through c draw a line parallel to ab using ruler and compasses only so for this question we have to use ruler and compass okay so here we have to draw one line ab and outside we have to take one point c and through c we have to draw a line parallel to ab so see the steps so first draw a line ab then take any point d on it now join the given point c to d and mark angle 1 to angle cdb and mark angle 1 is equal to angle 2 at c and produce to both side now this mn is the required line now see question number 2 draw a line z draw a perpendicular to l at any point on l on this perpendicular choose a point x 4 cm away from l so x draw a line m parallel to l so see the steps first draw a line l then take any point p on it then draw a perpendicular line at p now open compass 4 cm and from point p cut one arc of 4 cm so this and give the name is x now px is equal to 4 cm now draw angle 1 is equal to angle 2 means 90 degree angle at px and produce the line both sides so m is the required line parallel to l through x now exercise 10.1 completed now scholar c exercise 10.2 question number 1 construct triangle xyz in which xy is equal to 4.5 cm yz is equal to 5 cm and zx is equal to 6 cm so see the steps first draw a line segment yz of length 5 cm okay after that now taking point y as center draw an arc of 4.5 cm radius now taking point z as center draw an arc of 6 cm radius mark the point of intersection of the arcs as x now join xy and xz so xyz is a required triangle Now see question number two. Construct an equilateral triangle of side five point five centimeter. Now see the steps. So first one is draw a line segment BC of length five point five centimeter. Now taking point B as center, draw an arc of five point five centimeter radius. Now taking point C as center. draw an arc of 5.5 cm radius to meet the previous arc at point a now join a to b and a to c so abc is the required triangle now see the question number 3 draw triangle pqr with pq is equal to 4 cm qr is equal to 3.5 cm and pr is equal to 4 cm what type of triangle is this see the steps so first draw a line segment qr of length 
3.5 cm. Now, taking point Q as center, draw an arc of 4 cm radius. Now, taking point R as center, draw an arc of 4 cm radius to intersect the previous arc at point P. Now, join P to Q and P to R. So, triangle PQR is the required triangle. As the two sides of the triangle are the same length, means PQ is equal to PR. Therefore, triangle PQR is an isosceles triangle. So, scholars, your exercise 10.2 completed. Now, see exercise 10.3. Question number 1. Construct triangle DEF such that DE is equal to 5 cm, DF is equal to 3 cm and angle EDF is equal to 90 degree. Now see the steps. So draw a line segment DE of length 5 cm. Now at point D, draw a ray DX making an angle of 90 degree with DE. Now taking D as center, draw an arc of 3 cm radius. It will intersect DX at point F. Join F to E. So triangle DEF is the required triangle. Now see question number 2. Construct an isosceles triangle in which the length of each of its equal sides is 6.5 cm and the angle between them is 110 degree. Now see the steps. So an isosceles triangle PQR has to be constructed with PQ is equal to QR is equal to 6.5 cm. So see the steps. Draw the line segment QR of length 6.5 cm. At point Q Draw a ray OX making an angle 110 degree with QR. Now taking Q as center, draw an arc of 6.5 cm radius. It intersects OX at point P. Now join P to R to obtain the required triangle PQR. So this triangle PQR is the required triangle now see question number 3. Construct triangle ABC with BC is equal to 7.5 cm, AC is equal to 5 cm and angle C is equal to 60 degree. See the steps. So draw a line segment BC of length 7.5 cm. Now at point C draw a ray CX making 60 degree with BC. Now, now taking C as center, draw an arc of 5 cm radius. It intersects CX at A. Now join A to B to obtain triangle ABC. So triangle ABC is a required triangle. Now see exercise 10.4. Question number 1. Construct triangle ABC given angle A is equal to 60 degree, angle B is equal to 30 degree and AB is equal to 5.8 cm. See the steps. So first draw a line segment AB of length 5.8 cm. Now at point A, draw a ray AX making 60 degree angle with AB. Now at point B, draw a ray BY making 30 degree angle with AB. Now point C has to lie on both the rays AX and BY. So this is the required triangle ABC. Question number 2. Construct triangle PQR if 
PQ is equal to 5 centimeter. Angle PQR is equal to 105 degree. And angle QRP is equal to 40 degree. So, to construct this triangle, first we have to find angle P. So, here we can use angle sum property. So, angle P plus angle Q plus angle R is equal to 180 degree. Now, put the values. So, it will come 105 degree plus 40 degree plus angle P is equal to 180 degree. So, 145 plus angle P is equal to 180 degree. So, angle P will come 180 minus 145 degree. Means, angle P is equal to 35 degree. Now, we can construct the triangle. See the steps. Number 1. First, we will draw here one line segment PQ of length 5 cm. Now, at P, draw a ray PX making an angle of 35 degree with PQ. Now, at point Q, draw a ray QY making an angle of 105 degree with PQ. Point R has to lie on both the rays PX and QY. Therefore, R is the point of intersection of these two rays. So, this PQR is a required triangle. Now, see question number 3. Examine whether you can construct triangle DEF such that EF is equal to 7.2 cm. Angle M Angle E is equal to 110 degree and angle F is equal to 80 degree. Justify your answer. So here angle E is given 110 degree and angle F is given 80 degree. Okay. So if we will add these two angle means 110 degree plus 80 degree. So what is coming 190 and this is not proper not possible why according to the angle sum property of triangles we should obtain angle e plus angle f plus angle d is equal to 180 degree means the sum of all the three angles should be 180 degree but here when we will add two angles then the sum is coming more than 180 degree so it is not possible so exercise 10.4 completed now see exercise 10.5 question number one construct the right angle triangle pqr where angle q is equal to 90 degree angle r is equal to 8 centimeter and pr is equal to 10 centimeter now see the steps so first draw a line qr of length 8 centimeter now at point Q, draw a ray QX making 90 degree with QR. Now taking R as center, draw an arc of 10 cm radius to intersect ray QX at point P. Now join P to R. Now triangle PQR is the required right angle triangle. Now see the question number 2. Construct a right angle triangle whose hypotenuse is 6 cm long and one of the legs is 4 cm long. Now see the steps. So first here we will draw a line segment BC of length 4 cm. Now at point B draw a ray BX making an angle of 90 degree with BC. Now taking T as center Draw an arc of 6 cm radius to intersect ray BX at point A. Now join A to C to obtain the required triangle ABC. Now see the last question. Num question number 3. Construct an isosceles right angle triangle ABC where angle ACB is equal to 90 degree and AC is equal to 6 cm. So see the steps. First, draw a line segment AC of length 6 cm. Now, at point C, draw a ray CX making an angle of 90 degree with AC. Taking point C as center, draw an arc of 6 cm radius to intersect CX at point B. 
join A to B to obtain the required triangle ABC. So ABC is the required triangle. So scholars, your chapter number 10 completed. For worksheet, you can see the link given in the description box. So thank you everyone.